हरियाणा मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इट वाज साहब की जे लाबी छे मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट विपिन रया छे लिस्ट भी टूटा दा गया छे एमनो जे मानव न भरियो व्यवहार ना कारण है एमने जे लोको जे कदर ने इज्जत करी छे खरेखर ए इज्जत ना लायक छे अने जे लोक लीडर कोने केवा जीए आपने आज आपने तो आज अनुभव थयो कि आकला किलोमीटर दूर आ लोको ने लागनी ने मान आपी त्या पण आपण दुख डर दनो एने त्या जाने जे रजोत तो करी तो मोंदमनिया माछी माधवती एमनो फरी थी को को आभार लोकल थैंक्स नमस्कार आज की आ मीटिंग आपने आपने Solidarity. Apne bata all the Daman people are one. E ritna organize kawa maavije. Apne apne nathi jota ke koi pan Daman no vyakti koi jagya taklif ma hoy. Doesn't matter e kahi community no hoy, kahi caste no hoy. Pan Daman no. कोईपन व्यक्ति तकलीफ हो मा हो तो आपने बदा संगठित थी ने आपने एने सहाय करने शोल्डर टू शोल्डर उभा रही है ये खरेखर आपना दमन लोग बहु सारी बात है आज आपना ऑनरेबल सैक्रेटरी एमपी कीथवास आपने समक्ष प्रस्तुत है जे एमने आपने बुलवानों को को आपने एमने जे एमनो एक्सपीरियंस ही हो जे जेने एमने प्रफुल पटेल ना साथे बात करी तेमाज दिल्ली में एमने जे कई आपना मटे कार्य करियो शे एन ऑपरेट में आपने महितिकार कर से साथे साथे आपने जे ब्रेक्सिट ना मटे जे थना जे एना माटे पर आपने बेस शब्द कैसे वो अच्छा ना समय नहीं लाऊं एमनो सीडीओ गनो टाइट हो इसे इनले वो एमने फोन आ माइक्रोफोन आप पूछो कि त्यो अच्छा रे आपने एक्सप्लेन करे अने आपने किवी जितना आगर वो दोनों चे एक कारे मार्गदर्शन आपे तो मैंने माची माजन ना प्रमुख श्री जंगी का फुल स्वागत करते हैं मेंबरों के पार्लियामेंट में कितवास साहब काउंसिलर ये फरासीस को मैं स्वागत करते हैं जंगी का नाउ वी डोंट टेक मोर टाइम एंड स्टेट गिव टू मिस्टर Our MP Keith was to carry on for the meeting, yeah. Ah, and uh, there's another bouquet for Mr. Keith was. He's the president of a uh, Moti Raman community. Let us go. Yeah, you can carry on now. Jai Shri Krishna. Good evening, everybody. I landed at seven o'clock this morning at Heathrow Airport for the first time about the problems that have occurred in Dublin, and I flew from Goa to. Mumbai and Mumbai to Daman. I drove from Mumbai to meet with the chief administrator and leaders there. 
because I was shocked to learn, shocked, that people's houses were being demolished, having been given just three days' notice for the demolition. I cannot imagine this happening. In now Three days notice is no notice at all when people have lived in these houses for up to 65 to 70 years. I asked the High Commissioner in London to arrange a meeting with the Chief Administrator, Prophet Patel. And I met with Prophet Patel at midday, 12 o'clock, on the 4th of January. Some of the pictures of the visit are here in the leaflet that we have circulated. I went to see the demolition of some of the houses in Nani. Down. I crossed the bridge and I had lunch in the Emerald Hotel in Nani Dhamma. Um, and then I went to see Mrs. Patel. There is no doubt in my mind that Dhamman is a very special place. I have never visited Dhamman before. I'm from Goa and many times when we talk about Goa, we talk about Goa, Daman and you. Yeah. So it was a big experience for me. And I said to the administrator, I wish I had come in previous times without the controversy that surrounded us. I explained to Prafal Patel that I did not want to see any further demolition. It was unfair and unjust. And he told me that because the matter was being considered by the Bombay court, he gave me an assurance that there would be no further demolitions until the court had concluded. But even after the conclusion, he also gave me the promise that he would enter into a dialogue with me. Now it's true that those in Nani Daman who've had their houses removed have been offered alternative accommodation. But, and that is very gratefully received. But this is quite different accommodation. Flats to what they had before. Houses. So it's nice to be given somewhere else. But actually, it's not the same. And when I went to Motidam and met with a number of people there, and the photographs you see are of me uh, with the people, the argument is that these houses were illegally built on government land and therefore had to be demolished because they were too close to the beach. But actually, most of the houses, if not all the houses I saw, were a kilometre and a half away from the sea. Now, the law has changed. In the past, when Indira Gandhi was Prime Minister, you could build up to 50 metres from the sea. This was changed to 100 metres. Now, in some parts of India, you can go back to 50 metres. In Goa, I know it's far, far away. You can't actually build near the beach, near the sea. And there is also no doubt that Prophet Patel has a vision for what he wants to do for Dhamma. Um, money is pouring into this place. Prime Minister Modi is going in two weeks' time in order to lay the foundation stone for the biggest hospital that has ever been built in the history of Dhamma. And there is going to be a huge university also being built. So there is no doubt that there is great ambition. But 
And I support all these good things, but we don't want along the way for people to lose their homes. This is the issue. This is the issue. No one is against what is happening in Durban. The development, the creation of, the beautification of Durban. But we don't want people to lose their homes as a result of what is being proposed. And this is what I said to him. Now, I'm a British MP. Many of you are Portuguese citizens living in Leicester. But nevertheless, I think it is right that I should have gone there and made this plea on your behalf. This is my job. I have to do this. And I was very pleased to meet Ladubai Patel, the local member of parliament, and I asked him to work with me to stop the further demolition of the houses in Dublin. And he agreed to do so. Everyone agreed to do so. I have written to the British High Commissioner in Mumbai, who I met last night. Last night I had dinner with him and his wife in Mumbai to tell them about this issue. I have written to the Portuguese ambassador in London and I have told him what's happening to his Portuguese citizens. And I have written also to the Minister for Foreign Affairs in Britain and I have asked him to intervene. And on Monday I will be writing to Prime Minister Modi about this issue. We must create a dialogue with the administrator because he has good plans for the for the territory. And but those good plans should not, as I say, include the destruction of people's homes. So I promise you, it's not just one visit. We will keep up with this issue. We will work with President Gopal, Councillor Fonseca, and I and a round of applause for Councillor Fonseca, please. For all the work that he has done. Amazing. We will all work with you so we will continue on this on this course. And next time I go back to Dublin, I will not go on my own. I would expect all of you to come with me. <laughs> all of you, in order to protect the homes that we talked about. Can I please just see a show of hands to help me understand? How, no, wait a minute, I haven't told you what. Hang on. How many people, do you want to translate this? Yeah. How many people own homes that are subject to the section 146? Homes that have been told that they're going to be knocked down. जने नोटिस मिली से ते लोगों बद्दा जिना घरों छह जहाँ बद्दा हाथ उचा करें कितना जना से स्टैंड अप स्टैंड अप कहाँ ऊपर से जाओ These are the affected people That is a lot of people a lot of people Okay So before you go I I know that President Gopal sent me a list, a list of people attending the meeting, that's fine. But I need the names and addresses, and I also need the address in Dunham, so I can write to Mr. Modi with this information. We need to have specific examples of people who are going to lose their homes, because he has given me a very, very good assurance. I have promised him three things. We want to build up a strong relationship between Daman and the people of Leicester. Translate. Hello. Ah, uh, Daman, <coughs> आपने अटला बजार लोगों ना घरों से 
બધાના પાસે પહેલા તો બધી ડિટેલ લેવાની છે જેને ભાઈ ઘર ઇફેક્ટિવ છે બધાની ડિટેલ એમને આપે એ બધી ડિટેલ એ કીધું દિલ્હી મોકલાવશે એ લોકોને સાથે ડાયલોગ કરશે કે જો આટલા બધા માણસો ઇફેક્ટિવ છે and there were three areas that we are going to build up links the first is in the area of health care એ ત્રણ ત્રણ વસ્તુ છે એ આપને સાથે મળીને કરશું પહેલું છે હેલ્થ કેર secondly it was in the issue of education because of the new university that was being built second one બનવા માટે નું એજ્યુકેશન નું જે ફેક્ટર એ છે એના માટે પણ આપણે સાથે કન્સલ્ટ કરશું and the third was the issue of sport because of course leicester is the football capital of england and we want to we want to take a group of dummons from leicester to play football against dummons from dummon એ ફૂટબોલ ના માટે પણ હવે જે લેસ્ટર ગુડ સ્પોર્ટી સિટી છે અને એમાંથી એટલે ફૂટબોલ ગ્રાઉન્ડ આપણે ટીમ તૈયાર કરી અને દમન લઈ જશો અને દમન ના પબ્લિક ના સાથે બીકોઝ દમન ની પણ ટીમ છે દમન માં ભાઈ ફૂટબોલ રમે છે લોકો તો એ લોકો ના સાથે આપણે મેચ કરાવીશો બીકોઝ બીકોઝ ઈવન ધ વી લિવ હિયર નાઉ ઇન લેસ્ટર ઇન આવર હાર્ટસ ધીસ ઇઝ ઓલસો આવર હોમ આપને અહીંયા લેસ્ટર માં રહીએ છે પણ દમન એ તો આપનો ઘર જ છે એ કોઈ આપણાથી છોટું કરી શકે એવું નથી સો આપને આ આપને ટ્રાન્ઝેક્શન જે આપણી દમનના સાથે જે લગાવ છે એ હંમેશા આપને બરકરાર રાખશું and you are sending i tell to the the administrator you are sending money back back to daman to help support the people of daman ને આપને અહીંયાથી નોર્મલી બધા પૈસા મોકલાવીએ જ છે દમનના પબ્લિક ને સારી and the pound is going up against the rupee hooray hooray 89 89 rupees for pound okay now just a quick word about brexit okay there's a bit of a problem at the moment in the british parliament ah our brexit ni baat kare che amna je parliament ma જે બ્રેક્સિટ માટે એક બે વખત વોટ થઈ ગયા બટ ઇઝ નોટ ગોન એનીવેર લાઈક કે કઈ કઈ આજુ બાજુ કઈ નક્કી નથી જસ્ટ ટ્રાન્સલેટ વોટ આઈ એમ સેઇંગ ઓકે હેન્ડ્સ અપ હિયર ધોઝ ઓફ યુ હુ આર પોર્ટુગીઝ સિટીઝન્સ ઓકે બધા જાઓ ના ફોટો બધા પોર્ટુગીઝ પોર્ટુગીઝ સિટીઝન છે બરાબર ને because at the end i want you to sing a portuguese song for me <laughs> okay none of you none of the eu citizens who are present in the united kingdom none of your rights are affected by brexit uh brexit ni je pan eu citizen che ila apne portuguese citizen che e log ne koi taklif padwani nahi the cut off date is the 31st of december 2020 ah uh, 31st december 2020 na tya thi apne e log thi chhota padisu to so if people are able to apply for a portuguese passport even now they will not be affected until the 20th until the 31st of december 2020 એટલે જો કોઈ પોર્ટુગીઝ પાસપોર્ટ ના માટે એપ્લાય કર્યું હશે એ પણ 2020 સુધી એ લોકો મને મળી શકશે એ લોકો અહીંયા રહી શકશે એટલે ટ્રાન્ઝેક્શન પીરિયડ છે ઇફ યુ હેવ બીન લિવિંગ ઇન ધ યુનાઇટેડ કિંગડમ ફોર 5 યર્સ બિફોર ધેટ ડેટ 
you will be entitled to settlement. If you're not entitled to settlement, you will be entitled to something called pre-settlement. And after you finish your period of settlement, you can apply to become a British citizen. And of course, at any time, you can apply for an OCI because you are people of Indian origin. Okay. I will be writing to all of you, everyone who is a Daman citizen, or originally from Daman. Louis Fonseca has gone through very carefully to work out who is on the electoral register. And I will be explaining all this in a letter to not just to the people here, but all 11,200 people will get a letter from me. Have a after electoral roll under 11,200 people say, Emna Emna Badane, Mr. Keith was the office mati, a Badane later up on Mouse, and a Timabadu explain Karo Mouse, a Kavidina Kaoma on it. Okay, so your rights are protected, but we will have a second session where people can come and ask individual questions, and if anyone has any concerns, they can ring up and come and see me at my surgery uh, on Belgrave Road. In the second session, if you have any question, you can ask them, you can ask them, you can ask them, or you can ask them, or you can ask them, or you can ask them, all right. So, we will have a special session. So, thank you very much for coming. The issue of the demolitions is still ongoing. We must still all be united and strong and make sure that we keep active in protecting what is ours. And the, the, the campaign slogan is no more demolitions in Daman. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before you go, I am going to come here with the President and Lewis. Angela is going to go onto the stage and take a photograph of all of us, which will show, and I'm going to send the photograph to Mr. Patel and Mr. Modi to show the strength of feeling of all of us in Leicester.
Angela over there. I think there's a light exactly on there. Is it better come anybody, forward? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. No selfies, thank you very much. All right. Okay, come forward, please. One more. So please do not leave. If you own a property, shh, everyone sit down. If you own a property, a good one. Good one. Good one. If you own a property, do not do not leave before giving us your name and address and the property in Daman. We need to have that written down before you go. Give it to Councillor Fonseca so I can. Are there any questions that anyone wants to ask very briefly? Any questions, please? Hello. I'm not an expert on Indian law. Um, all I can think about is what would have happened if this happened in this country. Three days notice is a very, very short period. And therefore, especially if people have lived in a house for so many years. But that is actually the law of India. The law of India says that if you build on, on government land without permission, you've got three days notice. Um, this is not the law that in our country you serve enforcement notices on, you can then appeal, and there's a judicial process. But the people, I think Uday is the gentleman who is um, filed an appeal in the Bombay High Court. The, the rule of law operates there, and that's why everything is stopped. Uh, and I think he was prepared to listen to me. He was listening very carefully. He has a lot of ideas for Dublin. He wants to bring in a lot of tourism. Property prices have already risen in Dublin considerably. He wants to open up the whole beach area so that it's a long drive around the beach. So great potential. Um, but as I've always said, as we all know, you, have, you need to carry people with you. And if people themselves have an investment in the change, then it's a very good thing. They're very short of hotel space as well. Uh, I went to a very nice place to have lunch. Um, lots of British people had come from Leicester. I met all the Leicester people there. Uh, and um, it's, it's a very, very nice place, Dublin. It's absolutely beautiful. I understand that Dew is also very beautiful. Uh, and, uh, you know, potentially it could bring in a lot of tourists. There is still no serviceable airport, though. You have to land at Mumbai and drive. But even in Goa, you land at the airport in Goa, the new airport in Goa is going to be in Mopar. To get to the south is going to take you at least two hours when it's, when it's all built. And you know, traffic in, in Daman and traffic in Mumbai, it's lovely going, traffic in Leicester is fabulous <laughs> compared to there. So, you know, there are lots of things that they can improve on. But I think the dialogue is very important. Uh, and, uh, you know, in a few years' time, our local councillor is going to be the most senior councillor because he's been there already for eight years. When he becomes the Lord Mayor of Leicester, we intend to take him over in a delegation. We're all going to go with him. And he'll pay for all of us, won't he? Yes. Um, and we're going to create even stronger links between the countries. We want to get on a good dialogue between India and Britain. This is what we want. But, you know, the law is the law. That's the problem. 
Yeah, there is a one development in this cancer has happened. Mr. Prafur Patel, ready to talk with the, those people uh, in a big demand people. They say they're going to have a meeting very soon about this thing. So it's going to be good news for everyone. So there is a chance for dialogue with the Prafur Patel. Maybe Wednesday or something. It's not decided yet, but it's going to be happen. So it's better to be dialogue than like uh, go in the court and sort the things out. If you have dialogue, there's more chances to be survive your houses and things like that. So if we take it that way, that would be a better way to do it. And thank you, thank you. Any more questions? I'll tell you why. I've got a lot of jet lag and I've not slept for 24 hours, so I might just suddenly collapse <laughs> in the middle of this meeting. Um, are there any, any any more questions that we need to ask? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, will you be able to get the list of the houses to be demolished from the local authority, so we can take some action on that? No, I can't get a list from them, but I want a list of our houses that we own, you own, and then we will use that list and we will, these are the only ones I could look after. I'm not the MP for Dunham, um, so I can't do all the houses. I could protect my constituents, that's what Most I Most of the people are not aware whose houses are still on the list. If you have received a notice under section 146, then you are aware, okay? The, the, the little part of Moti Dunham that I visited, I think everyone there, the picture is on the front page. You will recognize the picture on the front page of the publication. That little area, they say, is near the sea, but it's actually not near the sea at all. It's not near the sea at all. It's about a kilometer and a half away from the sea. Huge, ambitious plans. I think it's, I think Dublin is going to be, you know, fabulous. I mean, it's a lovely place now, but if you put more money in it, it's going to be fabulous. But we need to protect people's houses. So we need people's names and addresses. On that note, thank you for coming. Kup Kup Aba. Jason Krishna, I will see you soon. Thank you. I'm afraid Hello,